this looks like a hurricane just exploded on the table, but <laughs> I had a quick sort of like energy download or like another situation or something. And I just really, the ca camera was not on and I just really quickly was trying to get the reading out. So I thought I would try to unpack it on camera because I'm still not exactly sure what is happening here. It looks so dramatic and there are characters here that I'm not quite sure who they are. So this might be very specific, very, very specific. Um, or not, I don't know, maybe take what resonates and um, put yourself in the situation where you fit. But, okay, so it looks like there was, there, we've got the moon card here. So something that's been hidden. Um, that is, there's like a hidden, hidden court case having to do with a wealthy man. Um, something surprising and something about a stalker so the the more like straight uh version of this is that there's been something going on with a uh, um, masculine energy that is under fire there's something to do with something to do with a, a man with money masculine energy with money um who appears to be very um like worth something but some sort of surprise about stalking having to do with this person and there's a court case happening and someone someone got ghosted because of this someone got ghosted and the thing is is that also the fact that it says stars in some cases this could be this wealthy man because i have haughty um and and stalking the someone could be stalking this man um or this man is stalking someone but i don't think so i think this this man who has money who who might kind of have like a name in the community or something like that has ghosted um someone they've ghosted someone or or this is the stalker <laughs> I don't know, because we've got the stalker, the stalker, so basically someone that is, you know, really, really heavily focused on someone here, and it's sort of this surprise event that's, like, happening right now, and so the problem is, is this reconciliation with this divine feminine who is, you know, she's someone who's been sticking to herself, but is glowing up, we'll say glowing up. And um, this other man, this mature man, who could be a divine masculine or a demoted divine masculine, if you believe that way, um, someone has been really either like withdrawn or rejected or really alone and um, something to do with like this gift someone wanted this this thing they thought of it as like a way out so a couple scenarios i'm getting if <sighs> really taking a look the problem is really having to take a look at this divine masculine who wants to reconcile with this queen rising right which is like a queen of cups and a queen of wands this is the empress who has this gift Right, and so, okay, so something did, okay, right. Who, this is the way that this masculine energy feels like they can improve or they see a direction that they wanna go. So it's just, it's weird because there's this other it's like every, even this wealthy man, I feel like this stalker and the wealthy man are different. This wealthy man, this is why I wanted to unpack it on camera because it's like, what is going on here? Because underneath this, I'll get back around to that, but underneath the situation, we've got this, someone tried to make an offer that got rejected because it wasn't, it wasn't real. 
or someone's rejecting someone because something that they presented, the way they presented themselves, it's not real and and they're they're moving away out of the situation um, and they don't want to put any more effort into this um, thing that they were in and they want to focus more in on love and it's it's a new day it's a new day these are wishes that this person has has gone within these are this is what they they truly want and they've also gotten like soul time messages about so but the interestingly is that I don't feel like this is the divine masculine perspective. I feel like this is somebody else's perspective. The reason why is because, I, or maybe it is, but I feel like you might have received a message. This is, if you, if you receive a message, I feel like this is for you. Because under this, this deck has to do with this love triangle. So this is like, you receive a message it has to do with this third party situation that you've been involved in for maybe a really long time that you did not want to be part of something feels like it's unraveling or there's a big drama there's a really big dra drama happening right now and you you've taken yourself out of this so for you to receive a message it might, even though you maybe have intu intuiting that something's going to come you weren't expecting this and the thing is is that this message might be confusing because i just did a reading which is actually uploading now about it being the perfect storm but there's some this moon here it just feels like something is off with this moon there's like a lie or some deceit and then this message. So one of the things that I'm thinking is that you might receive a message and think that it's one person, but it's really someone else. Like someone might send you a cryptic message or if you receive a message and something feels off or you read or hear something and you, you don't have the full story, this message is for you. Um, in the recent past, this was you going towards your north node, um, really focusing in on your home life and how to get to your feng shui, right? Like just, you want that perfect energy in your home. You want, you know, everything to be perfect and you've been winning. And the thing is, is that you've blocked everyone that could stop you from achieving those things. It's been the end of the cycle and there's been an opportunity on the way and this person, this King of Cups, has been rowing towards you as you've been doing all of this stuff. But the thing is, is that you, you've blocked this person. You're not even focused on them. So you didn't see them rowing towards you. Or you maybe thought they could be, but you weren't focused on it. You're more, more focused on, on, I guess, Nog Jampa and North Node. I love how, because I did these randomly there on the different sides. I love how they go together though. Nog Champa and <laughs> North Node. Okay, so, but this person, I got this. So it's like getting a group of people together. This person's intentions are to, this came out in my reading I did earlier as well, in the same position. Same, same thing with lovers came out here. The first reading I did today came out exactly in this position. So it's like, sending a message sending a message but the thing is is that this message is like a group of people have are harassing one person but it looks as if it's successful so this feels like a setup so that's why i think someone this this message and right underneath it with this lovers and this karmic feminine um, and then this stalking card and stalking you might have like your person's I don't know I don't want to jump to that right away but you could receive a message where it seems like it's your person and 
or everyone's racing to send you this message to appear like the victorious one, but it ha all has to do with you. I feel like I definitely feel some sort of like, but your ancestors, your ancestors are, are on it, which could be, you might receive a similar download as me that something's off when you get it. And that's because you're being supported. Um, because underneath this is, again, this keeps coming out, this Four of Wands, this like union card or internal union or achievement that you're heading towards as the star, your star energy, all that help from the heavens, you know, you, you growing your wings. And then I always say this is like my cart cartomancy version of God, King of Swords, or just doing the right thing and justice and someone who thinks clearly. So that's underneath those decks, but then in the near future, we've got some, some somebody who does something um, that's just really out of control to me because it's it's like they dangerously, dangerously try to cross some, some boundaries and there's some destruction that happens here in the near future. This person could be experiencing physical pain or that's what they're after doing or something like that. And the reason they're doing it is because there's some completion, completion, some movement towards completion, but it has to do with you. It has to do with you, divine feminine in your house or someone's trying to stop you. They're trying to hold on to something that's yours. <sighs> It's like greedy or holding back or something like, like that having to do with like property or real estate. They don't want you to have this or jealous, jealous of something that you might get because they are a spiritual hater. So this looks like an action and it's weird because my other message that I had today had a perfect storm coming, perfect storm coming. So, so dangerous destruction. Someone like trying to cross boundaries or create boundaries because they, they are either in like the kind of emotional pain that hits you physically or they're something like that. And what they're doing right now on top of like in, intending on coming out on top by harassing one person and potentially sending weird messages um, or trying to s sense more, f this could be around false messaging that they've already done. It could be like, um, what's the word? Um, when somebody, uh, ugh. when somebody talks about you and it's a oh, slander <laughs> not that hard of a word um okay so but here's their like the what they're doing right in this moment look what i can't like the lens that they're looking through like how they're seeing this is like trying to use abundance magic something to do with like whatever's coming to you they are totally obsessed with you right now um you are just trying to run. You don't want anything to do with it. And they're starting a drama because this, because you are, because you're not paying attention because you're too busy winning. And it looks like this, um, this looks like this boss daddy is, <laughs> boss daddy, that's the cards, is super into you. So it's driving this person, it's driving this person crazy. They're alone, stuck in like spiritual jail. And so they want, they want to come across, see, look, we've got this six of wands. They want to come across as the victor. It's really, really important to them. So they're doing whatever they can to do that. But also what's going on at the same time is there's some sort of unknown forces, which we know what that is, right? That's creating a balance again. It's creating a balance. And what's happening is, is that in this circle of people, it's creating all kinds of confusion where people are, are battling one another over the truth, big, 
big fights over the truth and it's creating a tower moment for everyone. It's a lot going on. And this person, this person is, they don't want to be rejected. They know that they're obsessed. They're, they don't want to be rejected. They don't want to be obsessed. They don't want anyone to know what they're doing either. They're, this is to me like a two of cups card. This is like a journey card for me. So they don't want this journey to happen between you and your person. Someone's moving on from them. This is the end of this situation. They're, they're being ghosted and they don't want to just have to be looking and looking backwards at the situation left alone as this like f false person trying to be who they're not and basically kind of like in a lower position than than they were and sort of like that's what gives them despair is you getting all of this stuff and being left out in the cold while you're out there having a good time <laughs> um and Interestingly, though, everything they've done is still going to come into alignment. There's going to be a perfect alignment where um, someone talks about it. Someone's going to say something about all the way they've, they've been cheating. Or they could try to say that someone's been cheating. Um, and still, still, to clarify all of that, look at all these cards that came out. Looking you up with a grudge, having emotional problems from childhood, trying to get the inside scoop on you and watching you. This whole time, this is another spying card. Spying, spying, inside scoop, grudge holder, looking you up. These all came out together and basically still wanting to bully because they've got all of this baggage, trying to take the baggage out and take it out on you. So I just thought that that was really interesting. Um, I'm trying to unpack this on camera that came out. It's something to do with messaging, messages. Um, I'm just trying to understand about this, this wealthy man. I feel like this could be someone that the karmic was teaming up with, who is now surprised to hear why your person might be wanting to walk away it's like it's all coming out this courthouse could actually be like a contract your person you know th this could be i don't know can i can i find out can i tell me what's this courthouse situation what's why does it say courthouse like someone under judgment for someone that was doing something over and over and over again someone was someone was stalking something might have come out where this kind of this this karmic has kept it under wraps um and then lovers is here too so i don't know if there's like an affair with this wealthy man in some situation or something but what about this wealthy man i think this is someone who who might be like a boss figure or someone that thought of this karmic energy differently and this karmic energy it's like it's all coming out five of pentacles someone who this also could be like something coming out about this karmic energy you know marrying for money or trying to take money or something like that and this wealthy man could also be the masculine energy, but I don't think so. I just really feel this is. This person, this wealthy man might feel like they were taken advantage of, like they might have actually cared about this karmic. It's like learning everything that's happening and having to separate themselves. And it all has to do with some sort of opportunity. I feel like this stalking all of this like stalking and what they've done to you is coming out and this is the environment there's a tower happening in these people's lives right now like the truth yeah and then also about like who wants to come towards you as well um and this ace of pentacles that's on its way it's almost like it does say here, it's like, you've got this gift and you're this queen rising and, you know, your, your masculine does think of it as a, as a pathway. 
because you've been manifesting. Um, I wonder if I should get... It just looks like people are maneuvering and there's a big tower happening. And someone surprised that might have been like held this karmic energy in higher esteem or this could be you know what else I just got this could also be this this could be another energy that is focused on you divine feminine that you didn't even know about or you don't know <laughs> it could be someone who someone who's sort of fallen in love with you like a secret admirer who doesn't doesn't like who's taking a deeper look at what the your divine masculine was doing and during these deliberations has seen sort of like all of this abuse i feel like this is like contracts this, this is like legal trouble people are confused this karmic energy is trying to maneuver or do something to come out come out on top something about a choice or a contract as lovers and this is all going to come to a head where it's like boundaries get crossed but i think whatever it is yeah and it's it's like yeah so just keep a calm head if you get messages that are weird right now people are having towers and people are trying to ma like manifest weird stuff and and this karmic energy is definitely trying to start some sort of drama and even potentially like um do some sort of like like energy energy stuff right now okay it's full moon so people are just really you know just take this Take what resonates, and this message applies to any time, not just the full moon. It's whenever it resonates for you, because time's fluid. Okay, I hope that helps. Bye.